Hello. We're going to the second fight for the first tier of the Stormblood normal raid. Sometimes it takes a while to queue people in. Also, this person found me randomly and, you know, interacted with me. I was standing on a rooftop. Um, but yeah, sometimes when you're queuing for these raids, it might not pop very often because most likely people are running it through like the the duty roulette and, you, and it takes a while to queue for that usually people run this like once and then they don't don't run it any, anymore delta escape v2 that's what i'm going to so this is the second fight for the second that's uh, second fight for the first tier part of the omega raid series If you're having a hard time queuing for these things, you can always put a party finder up, just letting people know that you want to just like work through the story and stuff. Sometimes people, there are other people who are trying to go through the story together too. Okay, so starting off, we have this duty uh, action over here called anti-gravity gimbal. And so when you click on this, it's going to make you levitate. You'll see that a few times. So here I'm going in, I'm just going to turn the boss around, per usual. Okay, starting off we had th that kind of like small raid wide. Okay. And it hits a few times. Nothing too big of a deal. But this one, Earthquake, this is going to do uh, a ground attack. And so over here you see this person, this is like purple thing. The, that means this person is levitating and so you want to click on this so that you are levitating off the ground so then when this earthquake thing goes off on the ground because there's an earthquake you don't get hit by it okay so so there we go this person let's see they're, they're standing up here because they've got this levitation thing and when you're levitating you'll have this little buff the foot on some air so I'm levitating, see levitation, and because I managed to stand, use the levitation at the last moment, I didn't get hit with the earthquake thing, however some people did. Uh, so AL and CO, who are on the ground, they both end up getting hit with the earthquake, and so they got a bone stack for that. When you use the anti-gravity gimbal levitation thing, you can't go down by yourself, but the boss will do moves that will bring you back to the ground. So this 100 G's will bring you back to the ground. Okay, Katastrophe manipulates gravity, so then we're all brought down. Okay, Evil Sphere is going to be a tank buster. It d Okay, so, sorry, my guy's boring, jeez. My cat was grumbling. Okay, what was he saying? Evil Sphere is a tank buster, but it's like, it's not a big animation, it's just this like orb. So you might not think you get, you got hit, but you know, it's this tiny little thing. So make sure you're mitigating for that. Okay, Ethereal Rift pulls at you strongly. So when you see any messages like this, I know it's kind of hard to see these messages because there's so much going on, but after a while, once you get used to like, different fights in different stages you might your eyes might wander a bit more and then you'll notice these things uh, you can hear my cats digging into a box right now okay moving on so with the anti the what did it say oh my god I forgot ethereal riff that was what it is yeah Ethereal Rift pulls at you strongly, so that's what this six foams under is. We'll have this. It, it looks like a person, and their arms are up, and they're like, ah, because what's happening is they're sinking into, like, quicksand. That's, it, it's a quicksand type situation, okay? Uh, and so, if you take a look, I'm, well, 
Okay, I end up using my gravity thing so I don't fall down. Like, see, so here I lose the debuff. Okay, also, uh, just a reminder if these icons, if the icon is pointing up, then that is a buff. That means it's like good for you, it's helping you. And if it, the icon is pointing downwards, then that means it's a debuff, and so it's not very good for you. Okay, so like, take a look over here, like. This Volan stack is pointing down, and so it's not good for me. But, and then this six foams under is pointing down, so it's not good for this person. But then I got things like, like this yellow one, which is the tank stance, and, um, and we got like this one for the healer, this is for their, uh, I think this is the mana regeneration one or something. Uh, and then, so, so yeah, okay, anyway. So this person, CO, they they end up having the six foams under thing and they don't need the levitation. So you can see them just slowly sinking, right? Like let's just let's just look over here. Okay, CO is over here. So we'll just take a look at how they're a tall person too, so you can see how much more they sink under the ground. See, you can barely see them. You can just see their hands a little bit. And then and then now they're dead. Okay, so yeah, you don't want to get caught up in that. So you want to use the levitation thing when um, when this goes off. If you don't catch the little thing that says the ethereal rift is pulling at you, as soon as the ground turns the purple and you notice you're sinking or you see the debuff, this is or 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 you know you see other people levitating, that's a good time to use a levitation thing. Or you die because you're underground basically. Okay, so then the 100 G's it brings us back to the ground. Okay, so we'll see that a few more times. Okay, gravitational manipulation. So this one will make one person levitate and then we'll have a stack marker. The person who is with the stack marker is levitating okay like it's it's a force levitation this this icon okay so this is only one person has it but if you are gonna stack for this you have to be levitating or else it doesn't count as stacking together with the person so so if everybody else was like on the ground and this that one person who got this the stack marker would just be by themselves, basically. Okay, here I've got all the I got other footage here. I went in on sync, so we can review some stuff. Let's just go from the beginning. Evil Sphere, we got the tank buster. Okay. Actually, I think the beginning, beginning. Well, let's yeah. Let's go from the beginning, beginning. Okay, so this trembler thingy is just like really small raid wides. You don't have to concern yourself with it too much. But when it does Earthquake, this is the one where you want to use your levitation. Okay, so 100 Gs is going to bring me back down. Okay, Evil Sphere is going to be... The Tank Cluster? <laughs> it just drops this purple orb, it's so anticlimactic. Okay, Ethereal Rift is pulling me under. I've got the six forms under thingy. I'm sinking. Oh. Yeah, you are slowly slipping down. Your movement speed dropping as you descend deeper. Burial will result in KO. Okay. So this is when you want to use your levitation thing. One hundred Gs, I get brought back down. Gs is like gravity, you know? So it's like bringing you back down because of gravity. Okay, gravitational manipulation, this is the stack thing. So see, I didn't I didn't click this by myself. It it did it the the move itself because I'm the only person here. I'm the one that gets targeted with it. I've got this elevation elevated thing plus uh, levitation. And so it forced me 
into levitation, which is seen as a buff, but that's just because like usually it's good. Um, but this one is the stack. And just, yeah. So ideally you would want um, other people up there with you. Bound to current elevation. See, so it forced me to levitate and then it keeps me here. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're gonna go help out and stack with the person, you need to make sure you're levitating. Okay, and then this is a uh, tank cleave, so make sure you're not facing the party. Okay. Oh yeah, right, right, right here. Right, so right after the stack, like if you're the main tank and you're gonna go stack, you gotta make sure you turn the boss around real quick because this, this cone happens. Okay. And that is just common practice in general. 100 G's, we're going back down. In general, if you ever like are running around for certain mechanics, you want to make sure afterwards you turn the boss away again. Mechanical, maniacal probe. This one um, sends forth its tentacles. Okay, casting erosion. Um, these tentacles are going to pop up all out of the ground from these red spots. Ah. Tentacles. Yeah. Okay, so they're like wobbling around. When the boss does this cast, what was it epicenter? It's like, you know, we got the whole earthquake aesthetic going on here, so the epicenter is gonna be like. Didn't I say epicenter in some other guide recently? And I had to look up to make sure I was saying it correctly. Anyway, so epicenter is gonna be like, you know, the middle of the thingy. So r when the boss does that, there, these blue eyeball things are gonna show up and it's gonna be glowing right and there's gonna be like arrows pointing down on these like tentacle things and they're like wobbling around and stuff uh, so at some point they're gonna lose the the eyeball and the blue stuff so like this one in the back it's not there anymore right it's not um, glowing anymore at this, in the middle of this though, the boss is doing this thing, gravitational wave, and um, that's we're gonna hit, get hit with like a raid wipe. Okay, so it's in the middle of that. While that's happening, you have to take a look at these tentacles and figure out which one is still blue and which ones aren't blue. The one that is still blue at the end, so this one, it's gonna do this like earthquake type situation and so you want to get away from it and so over here you see some people jumping there like get over here so moving over here uh co happened to still be back there i think they're fresh to this they got a volan sack for getting hit with that and took a chunk of damage okay and then 100 g's will bring you back to the ground if you happen to be levitating um, let's see. Let me get this watch this one. Okay, okay. Yeah. The tentacles are out, epicenter, explodes doing a thingy, and then so now it's like pointing down in the middle of these tentacle tentacles, and the blue glowing thing is gonna go away. At this point, okay, gravitational wave goes off. We get hit with a raid wide, and you gotta find the one that's not glowing. Okay, so it's back here, it's not glowing. The one over here in the back, you can see when it blows up there, it like, it, it's a big like circle AoE. So being far away from it, you're safe from that. Alright. Okay. So this. So after that, we're all back to the ground. I'm, I'm making sure to turn the boss away from people again. Anti-light. This is going to generate some orbs. There's going to be... This cast is going to have different variations. For this first version, it has these they're called petrospheres. I'm going to call them blue orbs. Okay. Or they're like... Later there's gonna be like gold color ones, like light ones, and these are considered dark, but because it's like glowing, it's hard for me to say the dark ones. So the blue ones. The blue, purple, blue ones, okay, so these, uh, if you are in them, then you will 
get stoned. Okay, also, if you are looking at this demon eye, you will get a bone stack. So, sometimes when you're looking at the eye in like other mechanics, you will, um, I lost my ability to speak for a moment. <laughs> uh, usually, sometimes if you're looking at the eye, there's like different mechanics that can happen, such as you get frozen or you get attacked and whatever, whatever. For this one, it's you. From what I can tell, you get a bone stag, but it's not what causes you to get stoned. Uh, the blue orb situation is what causes you to get stoned. Okay, see, so here I dodged the demon eye, right? And so, like, I'm fine. This person is facing away, but they got petrified. And so, to figure out what the situation is, um, we gotta take a look at other things, right? So, who else got petrified? CO. CO got petrified, and they're kind of facing this way. Um, ML. Facing this way. Okay. Something else that I noticed was I'm levitating, and all these other people are levitating, and we're not petrified. So that might be part of it. And so reviewing the footage here, let's take a look at AL. Okay, they're running. They're running away. They're not looking at the eye. Oh, they were momentarily, but then they turned away. Okay. And then if we take a look in the back, CO, where are you at, bro? Right here. So CO like runs away, and it doesn't seem like they're looking, and then they kind of turn back though. But there's one other person over here, ML. So I mean, I'm kind of just going through what my process is of figuring this out, just in case you know you want to learn. Here ML is in the back area, it's hard to see because this thing is covering it, but they're levitating, but it looks like they're kind of turned away. But at the same time, it looks like over here, if we take a look at their buffs, debuffs, they don't have the levitation foot like the rest, what, like the rest of us. They don't have it until. See, look, look at the cast. It's like almost done. Okay. They just pop their levitation thing, but the cast is already gone. Also, oh my god, look at this eye. It looks like a red eye. Uh, so they probably just got clipped with that. Okay. So, at this point, I'm thinking, okay, well, people are looking away, basically. So I don't think it was the eye. So it was probably the the dark orb situation, the blue orbs. Uh, so I'm like kind of thinking about that. Like I used my levitation thing just because I didn't, I wasn't sure about the mechanic, but I seemed to be okay by levitating at that point, and yeah. So, so after this I kind of just go back to doing my regular stuff, which is, you know, keeping the boss point away from people, um, because right after there was that cone, right? So, okay, Evil Sphere is going to be the, the next tank buster. So those are the kind of things I was thinking about as I was running this without like I hadn't run this in a very long time, so I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, but I was keeping that in mind. And so for this next anti-light, I'm like, I'm gonna keep an eye on whether I need to be levitating or or like what the situation is. So here I happen to be levitating, and then the 100 G goes off. It's like a mystery. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you what the situation is. I'm just trying to explain the thought process for now because eventually I'm not gonna be making guides anymore and then you know people need to you know learn how to learn so 100 G's okay so I'm gonna be dropped down from my levitation thing and I happen to be just in the the blue area and then I got petrified so I was like okay you know what there was no eyeball situation it wasn't like looking at me doing the demon eye thing and a bunch of us got petrified here okay and so there was something going on there so here I'm like I was only in the the blue light area I, I ran away from this 
golden light area and so something's up with that there are some people in the straight up middle here ak but they're not petrified ak who's the other person lf they're not petrified so i was like was there something going on in the middle there whereas everybody else like along the sides were all like petrified you know what i'm saying this gold stuff is still here what's the gold stuff oh okay there we go okay yeah and then afterwards the demon eye goes off and so i'm like i'm already here i'm am i gonna what's the demon eye thing okay so co and ml both end up getting an extra volume up but i don't i end up i'm, I'm looking away see look at my little face i'm looking away as i get petrified and then the demon eye goes off and, and i already happened to not be looking so co was looking there so you don't know what you're doing just as you're running away from things try to look away because this demon eye might sneak up on you okay all right having said that i will now go through what the situation is okay so anti light is going off the dark man now i'm just saying the dark orb the dark light orb okay this if you pan your camera so that is like you know the horizon view i don't know what that's called landscape view you know like not angled down but like just you know like you're looking at the sunset the horizon yeah then you can see here that the the orbs are like low on the ground and and, and the the AOE part of it is pretty low, right? And we've got this levitation situation. The, the Z axis, it's a whole thing. It's very difficult for me. Demon eye. Okay, so I'm going to look away from this. Even though it looks like I'm kind of looking back, it's okay. Like, if you're facing away, but your character model kind of looks like you're looking back, it, it still counts, but to be safe, I, I don't target the boss anymore. I untarget the boss. Make sure. But yeah. So I avoid getting hit with the demon eye because I'm looking away, but I also avoid this because I'm levitating, you know? Do you see that? See? At this at this angle, once I start levitating, I'm not, I'm not down here anymore. So I don't get caught up in that. Okay, so that's how you avoid this dark orb. Even if from this camera angle, you're, I, I'm like, in the intersection of two of them, I, I don't get hit with it because I'm not on the same z-axis. z-axis. Okay. Evil Sphere, Tank Buster. Well, I want to show the, the other colored one too. The, the, the dark and the light glowing one is this one. Anti-light again. So, we have the variation here. This situation, okay, see, you can see now, at this angle, that these darker, darker orbs are lower, and then the light glowing gold versions are at a higher one, okay? They're on a different plane. And so, when I'm levitating, I'm basically on the same plane as these gold ones, and when I'm on the ground, I'm on the same plane as the the blue ones. And so, having said that, I gotta figure out a safe spot. From this angle here, you can see that yeah, up here it's it's all yellow gold. You're gonna get hit. Like technically, I'm not there because I'm kind of short, but it still counts. Okay, I'm levitating up. I'm close enough. I would get hit with that. I'm I'm not I wouldn't get hit with the the bottom one, but spoiler, the boss is gonna do that gravity thingy, the hundred grab hundred G's and bring me back down. And so here, the trick from what we saw over here, there are people standing in the middle, is then in the middle spot there's this small little space that's clear. Okay? Because this orb over here goes like this and then this one over here goes like this and then this one over here goes like this and then this one over here 
goes like this. And so we have one safe spot right in the dead center of the stage. And so, and it's on the bottom ground, the basement. Okay, so I gotta position myself so that I'm right in the middle, even though it looks hella dangerous because you're it's overlapping these gold ones, and it's over and then like you know, the the blue color is on. It's, it looks like there's a lot going on here. There is, but that's the safe spot. Okay, the boss did the thing, pushes me back to the ground. I am in this tiny little square. That is your one safe spot for this mechanic when there's both of them. Okay, and then you gotta look away from the demon eye real quick. Okay, so let's see that again. So the orbs come out, maneuver your camera if you need to, remind yourself, and go find the safe spot which happens to be in the very center in this configuration. This is also the nor normal version, normal version of this fight, okay? And so it seems like the very first time that configuration comes out, the safe spot's going to be right in the middle. There are different configurations of the light and dark orbs like later in the fight, but this very first one is kind of like teaching you. So that's where it's at. Okay, and then again, make sure you're looking away from this demon eye. Uh, let's take a look here again on this. I didn't know that when I was running this, and so I was just like straight running away from stuff. I was like, okay, if I'm gonna get hit with anything, I might as well just try to get hit with one of them. And so I tried running into just this area. But yeah, so those people in the in the center there are are safe. Okay, look away from the demon thingy. Maniacal probe. Okay, this is gonna be the tentacle situation. So you look here, there are these like. It looks like debris everywhere, but <clears throat> there are certain markers on the ground to let you know where things are coming out. See, there's like this wheel and stuff. So, erosion, so the tentacles are gonna pop out of the ground. Epicenter is going to get them glowing blue. And then you gotta just pay attention to figure out which one stops glowing. This one stopped glowing. This one stopped glowing. So, you want to go run over to those areas. Okay, MLMK. MLMK, they're standing over here. Uh, they're levitating. Okay, ML is running over, but... Okay, so MK... I think they probably got hit with both. Because they're standing... <laughs> You know, you know, because they're kind of standing like this. Kind of seems. They, I think. I think it's like pretty big. So they probably got hit with both, which is why they died. Because technically, they have more health than the healer, and the healer ended up running towards us, and so the healer probably got hit with just one. Okay, so the healer's running this way. Uh, Mk, the bard is over there. Yeah, yeah, dude, look at how big this is. Like that. It's like that. So I think MK got hit with both. And so they died. Um. Okay. MK also had one Von stack. ML had one Von stack. They survived. Um. And they just got hit with the one, and then CO. Oh, they are seven. So before that, CO was at six Volen stacks, uh, which is likely why they could not survive that. They got hit with the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. they just got hit with the one. Uh, but with all those Volen stacks, it just killed them. Okay, so yeah, that's the danger of being vulnerable with all those Volen stacks. Okay, 100 Gs, we go back to the ground. Oh, okay, so this is a little different. We've got the light orb and the dark orb stacked now. They're going over each other. And this is a little different, okay? It's minus 100 Gs. Oh, God. You know, light ground, I make you fly. I can't believe I read that. So here, here is our indication that we're, we're going to get tossed in the air, okay? This fly 
thing, and then also the negative part of the G's. Okay, so for this, these orbs are stacked since these AOEs are stacked. You want to find your safe spot. There's going to be a safe spot north, and there's also a spot south. You want to pre-position yourself in these areas so that when this thing goes off, uh, when you land, you don't get hit with either of those. Okay. So here we've got some people in the middle of all this, and we've got some people on the side. So negative 100 G's goes off. We got this gravity flip, so we're all tossed in the air. And then some people have the levitation, some people don't. Regardless of which one they had, because the the gold one and the dark one is stacked, you're going to get hit with one of them. And so that's why we got people who are petrified and stuff. Alright. That's that situation. Over here, we're fine. Well, MK is kind of in a situation. I think MK had just been risen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they just came back from being raised, so that's why their health's pretty low. So the healers didn't have enough time to give them more health. Yeah. Okay. After that, see, see they're frozen. We've got the gravitational wave thing, which is the raid wide. Okay, let's heal up for that. So see, we have people who are petrified who are levitating and on the ground. All right. Okay. Evil sphere, the tank buster, little orb. One hundred G's, just regular one hundred G's. It'll bring you back down to the ground. Anti light. Are we gonna get the light orb and dark orb? Oh no, it's just the light orbs. Okay, so in this situation, we've got that. That means if you're levitating, you're you're gonna get hit with this. Okay. And as we saw in the other ones, if you get hit with this, you'll get petrified. So you can't move, you can't do anything. Ethereal Rift pulls at you strongly. We saw this earlier. This is the six forms under. Six forms under. Okay, so we're sinking. And also, this gold uh, orb means if we're if we're levitating, we're, we're going to get petrified. And so this is where patience comes into play. You wait for the thing to go off. Okay and then you levitate so that you're not sinking into the ground. You have a few seconds, so it's fine. Okay, uh, here, uh, MK, where are you? MK, MK's back here. They end up levitating early, okay? So they're levitating over here. They're the only one levitating right now. The rest of us are still sinking into the ground. So, because they're levitating when the gold thing went off, they end up getting petrified. Okay. And then, when when the gold stuff goes away, now we're just dealing with this. You have you still have a few seconds, so you can hit your levitation now, and you won't die. CEO, poor thing, died because they ended up sinking too low okay so that happens pretty fast but uh maybe do i have it over here i think i think i finished this whole fight do, do we need to see all this do we okay 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 it's fine i'll just show you okay this is the one where i was standing in the middle okay maniacal probe this is a tentacle situation Tentacles come out, epicenter is the blue thingy, and then eventually the blue thing will go away, so you find the ones that aren't glowing anymore. Okay, this one behind me is not glowing anymore. Okay. I So when these first come out, it's just one that stays blue, but then as you keep seeing this mechanic, more will like stay blue, and so you'll have to dodge more. So just be mindful of that. Skip ahead. You don't need to see all this stuff. 
that y'all already know, right? It is negative 100 G's, so when we get tossed up, it's just not as fun to show it if it's just me, you know, running this. Um, okay, so that's good. Where's the skipper? Here we go. So this one is just the the yellow one. You can see it's it's the top layer. Okay, Ethereum is pulling at me strongly. I'm gonna slowly start sinking. I am slowly sinking. Look, okay, the yellow thing goes out, and then I use my levitation so I don't get hit with this. There we go. Okay. I definitely didn't know about the, the different layers of these ores or how the levitation even worked when I was running this this time. I was like, oh, you'll swag figure it out. So I had to, yeah, get in, get some extra footage later. Okay, we got another technical situation. This time, yeah, okay, epicenter, we got the blue thing. So this time, there is gonna only be one safe spot so we gotta figure out which one is not okay so this one is the only one that's not glowing blue so this is gonna be our safe spot also demon eye is going off and so you gotta face away okay so unfortunately some people uh, did not run over here so mk Maybe for the FK. Okay, CO is getting raised. Mm -hmm. MK is over there. I don't think they're doing anything. I think I think they're AFK. Where is CO? Oh, CO's still dead over there. Okay, they didn't take the raise. Yeah, okay, no, you're right. CO is right here. They've got their brink of death thing and the transcendent thing, which means they've got a few moments of being invulnerable. Invincible. Um, yeah, so they survived it even though they were standing right there. MK, I think they were just uh, AFK at that moment. LF, where's LF? Oh. They're over here, so they probably got hit with this one. Yeah, okay, so LF got hit with that one. There. MK got hit with both over there. Gravitational waves, the raid wide. And then we get anti-light again. Okay, so it's the yellow one, so you don't want to be levitating at this moment. Um, there's like small raid rides that were happening at the end there, and like from the very from the very beginning, we were doing little like um, there were tiny little raid rides at the beginning, and then after that is when the earthquake thing happens, and so this is kind of just like if you continue the fight like that, then you will see that where similar to the six foams under you would wait for the yellow thing to go off and then yeah here we go so the yellow thing's up I happen to already be levitating because I, I clicked it from the earlier and so I got petrified but um, if I had done the if I wasn't already levitating then I would wait for the the gold thing to go off and then when the earthquake cast is on then I would levitate so then I don't get petrified so very very similar to the six foams under 
uh, mechanic before. I think... Oh, ah, I left the boss alive for a long time to see more mechanics. Okay, let's take a look at this one. I wanted to see if standing in the blue thing would... while levitating would change. No, I still get a lot of damage in the bone stack. So, something there. What else do we have? What's this one? Okay, so this is a repeat one. This is the one where the middle spot is safe. Okay, see, see look up this little spot? You want to look away? Okay, anything else that's good? 6 one moment, we saw this already. The... Maybe the other one would be better to show. I want to make sure to show... Here... Like, LF got hit with that, I see. So, when there's three of the blue things out, you wanna make sure you're, like, behind this tentacle. Because the... the radius... of, um the epicenter tentacle thingy is pretty big. Okay, so see there. So if you're more directly behind this, you'll be safe. Okay. 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 Okay, let's watch a cutscene. Yeah, like I said, I haven't run this one in a long time. I don't see it that often, and I think most people don't see it that often, which is why you see so many bone stacks and like people getting petrified and not knowing the mechanics. It is, it's just normal, because people don't run this that often. It's pretty old. Um, it's from Stormblood era, uh, and so it's not going to come up as often. Also, the loot here, if you're interested, a lot of those things that you can get, you can trade it in for like gear. But the gear that you get probably won't give you that much of a boost for like um in terms of like item level and stuff like that but if you like what it looks like most people will take this stuff and then trade it in just for glam purposes um other people just trash it because they don't care about that stuff <laughs> um but yeah okay have a good one bye